Football is a sport that we all love, but did you know that some football players have resorted to shocking tactics that go beyond the field? There have been many football players in history who got banned for using drugs. In this video, we'll uncover the dark truth about football players who doped and got banned for years. These are the stories of players who ruined their careers with their own hands. Stay tuned until the end to understand the alarming influence of doping in football and how those football players are remembered who doped. Number 10. Diego Maradona Diego Maradona is widely considered one of the greatest footballers of all time. He had a career filled with significant achievements and controversies. One of the most significant controversies in his career was the doping scandal that unfolded during the 1994 FIFA World Cup. Maradona's legacy was built on his extraordinary dribbling skills, creativity on the field, and his infamous Hand of God goal against England in the 1986 World Cup. However, his reputation took a major hit during the 1994 World Cup when he tested positive for the banned substance ephedrine, which is a stimulant. Maradona initially denied any wrongdoing. He claimed that the positive test was due to a drink he had consumed. The football world was left in shock as Maradona defended his innocence. However, as the investigations continued, it became clear that the banned substance was indeed present in his system. This led to his suspension from the tournament. Number 9. Adrian Mutu Adrian Mutu is one of the best footballers to come out of Romania. However, Mutu's repeated violation of anti-drug policy has scared his career. In the first instance, while at Chelsea FC, Mutu was found to have consumed cocaine and subsequently handed a seven-month ban, thereby ending his career at the London-based club in 2004. Later, in 2010, when he was with Fiorentina, the player was again found to have a banned substance, Cipitramine, in his system. The violation invited a nine-month ban for the striker. It seems too much. I expected less because, yes, the mistake was made. It's right to pay, but not so much, Mutu said in response to the suspension. Number 8. Colo Tour Colo Toure is the Ivorian defender. He found himself at the center of a doping scandal during his tenure with Manchester City in the English Premier League. In 2011, Toure tested positive for a prohibited substance, a diuretic found in a weight loss pill. The incident happened when Toure revealed that he had unknowingly taken his wife's diet pills. He didn't realize that they contained a banned diuretic. He maintained that he had no intention of gaining an unfair advantage through the use of performance-enhancing drugs. Despite Toure's explanation and expressed remorse, he faced a six-month ban from football as a consequence of the doping violation. Number 7. Rio Ferdinand Rio Ferdinand, the former English central defender, had a long and exceptional career with clubs like Manchester United and the England national team. However, his career faced a significant setback due to a doping-related controversy in 2003. Ferdinand's doping incident revolved around a missed routine drug test. The test was part of standard anti-doping procedures, and it was crucial in ensuring that athletes were not using banned substances to gain an unfair advantage. When Ferdinand failed to attend the scheduled test, suspicions were raised, and the matter gained widespread media attention. Ferdinand claimed that he had simply forgotten about the test. He cited a hectic schedule as the reason for his failure to comply with the protocol. He denied any intention of avoiding the test deliberately. However, the consequences of his oversight were severe. It led to an eight-month suspension from football. The incident had a significant impact on both Ferdinand's career and public image. It raised questions about the responsibilities of professional athletes when it came to drug testing and the severe repercussions of non-compliance. Ferdinand learned a valuable lesson about the importance of adhering to the rules and regulations that help maintain the fairness and integrity of the sport. Number 6. Stan Lazaridis Former Australian international, West Ham United, and Birmingham City winger Stan Lazaridis was given a 12-month suspension from the game in 2007 when he tested positive for the prescription alopecia medication anti-androgen finasteride. The substance was banned at the time, and even though Lazaridis made it clear that it had been used in good faith, without knowledge of it being illegal, and that it wasn't a performance-enhancing drug, his suspension went ahead anyway. Lazaridis was playing for Perth Glory in his homeland when the ban was applied. Given that he was 34 years old at the time, 
he opted to retire from the game instead of waiting for his suspension period to end to return to the game. Number 5. Mamadou Sako. Mamadou Sako is a French footballer who has played for clubs like Liverpool and Paris Saint-Germain. He faced a doping controversy in 2016. Sako tested positive for a fat-burning substance during a UEFA Europa League match while playing for Liverpool. Sako's case raised eyebrows because the substance in question, although on the World Anti-Doping Agency's list of prohibited substances, was not widely recognized as a performance-enhancing drug. The French defender claimed that he had used the substance to address a weight issue and was unaware of its prohibited status. The incident led to a provisional suspension and a lengthy investigation. Ultimately, Sako was cleared of any wrongdoing and the ban was lifted. Number 4. Paul Pogba Paul Pogba, the French midfielder who returned to Juventus from Manchester United on a free transfer last summer, found himself in a disciplinary controversy in a recent Europa League match against SC Freiburg. Juventus made headlines when they dropped Pogba for the Europa League match, citing disciplinary reasons. The club's statement to the Associated Press did not provide details, but there were reports that Pogba had arrived late for a team retreat the night before the game. This development came after Juventus had won the first leg of their round of 16 matchup 1-0. In the same match, Federico Chiesa, who had recently returned from injury, limped off in the second half, raising concerns for the Serie A side. Pogba is 29 years old. He had only recently returned to action after a lengthy injury layoff. He had made two appearances for Juventus, and his absence from the Freiburg match was a surprise. Juve's coach, Max Allegri, acknowledged the situation but emphasized the importance of respecting team rules. He mentioned that there are certain rules within a team like Juventus that need to be upheld, especially by veteran players. Pogba's return to Juventus from Manchester United was initially met with enthusiasm, but he suffered a knee injury shortly after rejoining the club. This injury sidelined him, and he watched from the stands as Juventus secured a victory with an Angel Di Maria goal. Notably, Pogba's history includes previous disciplinary issues with club management. During his time at Manchester United, he had a complicated relationship with former coach Jose Mourinho. Number 3. Samir Nasri Back when Samir Nasri was a Manchester City player and enjoying a loan spell with Sevilla FC, he was found to have abused a drip treatment in the United States. The treatment involved being injected with vitamins under a limitation. However, it was found that the player took 10 times the 50 milliliter infusion limit allowed by World Anti-Doping Agency regulations. The initial six-month ban by UEFA was later extended to 18 months. What happened in Los Angeles ruined my season. It was an injection of vitamins that was legal and I had a prescription, but the clinic injected me with a greater amount than I had expected. Nasri said on Instagram while presenting his side of the story. Number 2. Paulo Guerrero Paulo Guerrero, a Peruvian footballer who has played for clubs like Bayern Munich and Internacional, encountered a doping scandal in 2017. He tested positive for benzoylecanin, a metabolite of cocaine, following a World Cup qualifying match. Guerrero insisted that he had unknowingly consumed a tea made from coca leaves, a common practice in some South American countries, and was unaware of its prohibited status. He was initially banned for a year, which meant he would miss the 2018 FIFA World Cup. However, an appeal reduced his suspension, allowing him to participate in the tournament. Number 1. Andre Onana The most recent case of a footballer being banned for violating anti-doping rules is Andre Onana. The goalkeeper plays for AFC Ajax and was found having taken a medicine allegedly prescribed originally for his wife. The custodian has been slapped with a 12-month ban from all footballing activities, which could hamper his potential move to a big European club in the future. Club Managing Director Edwin van der Sar released a statement following this news which said, This is a terrible setback for Ander himself but certainly also for us as a club. We had hoped for a conditional suspension or for a suspension much shorter than these 12 months because it was arguably not intended to strengthen his body and thus improve his performance. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next video.